Hi there, I'm your host John Borg and you're watching the world renowned television show Papa's Kitchen. So come on in, let's eat. With your host, John Borg. Today I'm going to be teaching you a very difficult recipe. And yes, it does get really hard at times. So make sure your eyes are peeled and you're always paying attention so you can execute the recipe properly. So uh, let's get started and hopefully by the end of the episode you won't be such a horrible cook. Let's go. As I said before, today I'll be teaching you how to do a very, very difficult recipe. Chocolate pancakes. So let's get started, people. We're going to start off with the ingredients and then we'll uh, go ahead and make them. So here we have the ingredients to make the chocolate pancakes. We have this beautiful, beautiful milk. So fresh. I literally just milked a cow like five minutes ago. Then we have these, these eggs. Aren't they just the prettiest thing? They're so oval. Oh, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? And then we have this, this mix. It was probably packaged about six months ago, but still, it's an exception. Let's use it. And uh, for those of you who have the, the sweet tooth, you might want to sweeten up your, your day a little bit, your pancakes a little bit. So you might want to use baking sugar. Today on set, we didn't exactly have that, so we're going to use a substitute of uh, baking soda. It should work just as fine. So let's put the ingredients together. We're going to start off with one cup of milk. Right, in goes our milk, and then we're going to put one large egg. Put that in there. Then after that, we're going to put one and a quarter cup of the actual mix. So let's go ahead and put the mix in. So now we're going to put in the mix and Jemima. Get one cup of it. Slowly but surely. It's about one cup. Put that in. Now we're gonna get a quarter cup. It's about a quarter cup. Now let's get the whisker. Whisk this baby up. We're just whisking it right now. Do it violently. You want to beat it up almost. That's how you get the best finished product. And then when you're almost done whisking it, whisking that beautiful sauce, you almost gotta make love to it. Ooh. smidge of butter in order to grease the pan up a little bit so that the pancakes don't stick while they're cooking. Just a little bit. So we're going to cut ourselves a little piece of butter. Perfect. So now we're just going to apply the perfect amount of pancake mix to the pan. So we're just going to get a very big dollop of it and we're going to put it smack in the middle of the pan. And that's the way the batter flows. Now, the best way to, uh, to know when to flip the pancake is when the bubbles start coming. So when you see the bubbles, that's a good indication that you have to wait around five to 10 minutes before you flip the pancake. 10 minutes later. So we've waited five to 10 minutes. We've set up all the fire alarms in the building. The fire department's about to show up. I think we're ready to flip the pancake. See, the one side is well done. You don't even have to cook the other side. I'm pretty sure it's good. So right now we have our finished product of the pancake. It's the chocolate pancake, actually. And we made it 
without chocolate actually required. All you have to do is just really burn it, and then to make it taste a little bit better, we put a big dollop of, uh, of butter on it, and then uh, just to add a little bit more oomph to it, we're gonna put a little bit of syrup on it, and uh, hopefully it'll taste really good. And that is the recipe that I amaze my guests all the time with. It's just, uh, it's a really fun thing to do when you when you have people over, and it's a great recipe. It's just delicious. It's so good. The, the mustard just really brings out the actual chocolate taste of it. Sort of charcoaly, not a burnt, more of like a charcoal smoked sort of cook taste to it. Strawberry makes it a little bit more juicy, and the butter, mmm, that's just delicious. Tastes a lot like chicken, actually. So thank you for watching the show once again. You'll see me next week on Papa's Kitchen.